So I figured I'd go ahead and start this vlog. And I have not filmed a vid yet. I just got finished doing some editing on my computer. But I will go to bed, get up in a few hours, and continue this uh, vlog. I got to remember that the camera is right here. I might put a little dot on this phone so I can look at it. But as soon as I look over here, I'm not looking at the phone. Oh, hello, kitty. Hey, what you doing? At least I'm not the only one that's up. Come on, girl. Come on in my chair. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. You want to slide over for me? Come on. She greets me every morning. When I get up, she knows it. Yeah, it's all right. Man. All right. But let me go get some sleep, and uh, then I'll get back up and continue this vlog. It might be four o'clock, but I'll probably be up in a few hours. Try to get on that schedule. So, uh, see you in a little bit. Well, I'm back, and it's uh, about 11:30, and it's pouring down rain. It's been raining all night. And it's supposed to rain all day. It's supposed to rain all night. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Then we get one day that's supposed to be around 70 degrees, about 5 or 10 miles an hour winds, sunny. And then the very next day is supposed to be the high 50, I do believe. And then the next two or three days is supposed to be in the mid 40s. And then they talk about a cool front coming through and it's supposed to be in the lower 40s for the high for a whole week so some crazy weather but right now we are going to the post office because I got one of these little cards in the post office box and it says mail pickup notice and it's got four things on here checked or possibly possible check of why I have to come pick it up. One is says the article is too large for the box. That's not checked. There is too much <clears throat> there is too much mail to fit into the box. That's not checked. Postage due. That's not checked. The mail requires a signature. That's not checked. So I have no idea what it is and why I have to come pick it up. It can be any of them reasons, but they did not check it. So I wrote my post office box on it. I'm going to go up there and hand it to them and see what they say. Maybe somebody sent me a nice Christmas present. Ooh. Uh, that'd be nice. And I had Home Advisor call me as a lead, not them calling me personally. And as soon as I got a notification, I pushed a button within the app that was giving me that notification to call the customer. I got a hold of the customer. They said they already got somebody to come and check their system. Well, I don't want to work for them kind of people because they was just sitting there and put their name 
in the system and then just sit there and call people and, and get somebody as quick as possible is what they did. You don't sit there and put your name in the system and then sit there and call people too. And inspect the people that gets notifications and charged for that lead and get nothing but you saying, I've already found somebody. Well, if you're going to do it that way, by call, just looking on the site and going to call people, well, don't put your name in and get other people to be calling you. You're wasting their time and dag on money, stupid idiots. I hate customers like that. I have showed up to houses, and there's three other heat and air companies that show up too. And we all look at each other like, why are you here? Well, they called us to come do their work. Well, they called us too. So we all went to the door. And they had to pick who they wanted to do the work. And whoever they picked got the work. The rest of us sent, gave them an invoice for a trip fee. They didn't like it. But that taught them freaking smart butts a lesson. You don't call a lot of companies and have them all show up at your house and expect not to pay them for showing up. So I gave them a bill and the rest of them gave them a bill and the other one, he got the work. I just hate people to do that. There's no reason for it. If a company... If you call a company and they said they're going to come out there at a certain time, don't call nobody else. Let that person come out there and do what they said they're going to do. And if you don't want them to come out there, call them back and cancel the appointment. It's just some people are just stupid, ignorant, non thoughtful, selfish. I can go on, but I don't want to make this video that long. I guess that's my rant for the day. Stupid customers. They don't take in consideration of what they put companies or you know, workers that are scheduled to come out and do the work, they don't take in consideration what they put them through by calling you know, multiple companies and all of them show up. And then they get mad because the ones that don't do the work still send, gives them an invoice for a trip fee. And the trip fee, of, of course, is only 50 or $75, but still, I'm not going to ride out there to that idiot's house just to find other companies out there and waste my time and my gas. Uh, I'm going to get paid for it. And I had one that flat out refused to pay because I didn't do the work, they refused to pay that trip fee. They had to go to court. I got my money. You don't play with my money. You don't play with my livelihood. You don't mess with my family. Is it personal? No. It's just the way you've got to run a business. I'm not out here to work for free. None of us are. And the people that may be in your life, your line of work, if they're always asking, asking for something for nothing, you might want to reconsider if they are a customer that you want or not. It's nice to give away work from time to time, but on your terms, 
not the customer. I have dropped two or three customers for the new year because I do the work, I send an invoice, and it's 30 or 45 days before I can get the money out of them. It's not like they're out of town. They're in the same town I am. Matter of fact, they, they're uh, less than four miles away from my office. I text them, I email them, I even call them. No response. Well, we can't pay that soon because we have to wait for insurance to from the customer that we're doing the work for. I like, well, I'm not working for that customer. I'm working for you. I did the work for you. You called me. I do the work for you. I don't care how you have to get the money. You pay me. Simple. Boy, is it raining out here. Lovely day. Even though that customer said they got somebody else, I highly doubt if that's true because when I get that notification, it's within two or three minutes from the time they put that information on there. But I'm glad I didn't get the job. I don't want to be out in this mess and have to work. Only reason I'm out in it now is because the curiosity of what the uh, mail is has gotten me out here to fit, you know to come out here and see what that is. Is it a package? Is it... I, I want to say it's going to be a package because I have not had this post office box long enough for anybody to send me any certified or whatever mail through this box. Matter of fact, I have not advertised this to anybody that I make payments to or anything like that. So, it shouldn't be anything related to any kind of bill or anything like that. The only place I have really put this post office box address is on my website and my YouTube channel description. The only thing I've really got from here so far is uh, Christmas cards from uh, some of my subscribers. Um, let's see what else I got from there. Oh yeah, when I I put on my invoices, so when somebody owes me um, money, that I have to email them the invoice and them, and they decide to mail in a check that would be on the invoice. So that that's where that would be going. But a check in an envelope would fit in the box. I wouldn't have to sign for it. I never have signed for a check before. So I, I pretty much eliminate that it's not a check. If I have to sign for it, that'd be the first one. So I have no idea what this would be. That's why it got my curiosity up. I have no idea what this could be, but I'm going to take you in there and we're going to find out. I got my 
card. Now watch me go in there and they say, oh, that was put in there by mistake. And I wrote up here for nothing. That'll be a nice surprise. Riding in the rain. When I can be home on the computer making videos, which I make a video for this channel today, which is Monday, while I'm making this vlog, which you don't get to see this one until Tuesday. But let's go in there and see what they have or don't have for me. Well, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> I went into the post office with my card. It's January the 2nd on Monday. Can you figure out what happened? They're not open because a observant of New Year's is what they're doing today. And at first, I felt like the idiot. Or a person that should know better. But the time, by the time I got out of my van, went into the post office, found out they were not open, and got back to my van, there was three other people asking me, are they open today? So I'm not the only one. I observe New Year's uh, on New Year's. You know, like January the 1st, not January the 2nd. You know, some people have to go right back to work. It must be nice to have a day off. That's the government for you. They want their money, but they take days off. But the most thing, really not because they're closed, it's their lack ability of checking one of the boxes. I mean, if they got time to put this in my box, they got time to check why. And let me know at least. They're, they're just slack. Not, no, they're not doing their job. I'd like to know why I have to come up here and get my mail. I mean, I'm not the one that's supposed to check the box. I have no idea why. It's their responsibility, and they can't even do their own responsibility job. So, it's just a rat race basically nothing you could do about it you can complain about it send them an email about it it won't change it's just things in life that is going to be the way it is now I'm going to go to a job and drop off some materials and uh, hardly anybody anywhere there has to be a person coming behind me they couldn't go out the other daggone exit of the parking lot so I can sit there and punch in this address so I'll be back uh, after I get to the job and uh, get back into the office to see what we can get into. Well, I dropped off the little bit of materials I needed to so my worker can get back to work. Hopefully we get this uh, this house done by Wednesday get inspection done and everything move on to the next one but right now this is empty we can't have that so I'm going back to the office to make some more
Well, as you can see, it's a nice rainy, messy day. Kind of a little foggy. As you can see, around them trees are all right up in here. It's nice and foggy. But that's the kind of day that we're having. Not much going on. As work-wise, but I'll be having the opportunity to um, crank out some videos. Because this year I got to crush it. Because if I miss just one day of not getting done what I need to get done that day, I'll be like two or three days behind because trying to catch up. Because if I miss one thing today to get it done, it'll take two, maybe three days to get that done, to work it into the schedule that's already full for the whole day. But I do need to make a video today because it is Monday, January the what, 2nd. So I need to make a video, business video for this channel. Got my coffee ready. I went to the post office and found out they were closed, but I was not the only one that didn't think about it before I went. Still wonder what that mail is, a package or whatever. Everything I li can eliminate as a possibility. I come down to that it's got to be some kind of a package. Because the only thing I can think of is a package that will not fit in the mailbox. I know it's not because I have too much mail because I haven't had the mailbox long enough for that many people to send me something at the same time. I strongly don't believe it's going to be anything that has to be signed for unless it's a package that has to be signed for but then again it's a package because it won't fit but I never had a package where I had to sign for not at a post office. Usually it's delivered at home, but, but who would be sending me a package at that address that has to be signed for? So play elimination of the possibilities of what it can be, I come down to one. It's a box that will not fit. Then, even if that's the case, what would be in the box? Who sent it and why? That would be just another mystery until I open it up. Unless I recognize the name that it, where it came from. So that might be answered even without opening the box up if that's what it is. But I like mystery boxes. I like when people send me stuff without me knowing it and having that little surprise every time I go to the post office box. And I have not had the post office box long enough or advertised it long enough for people to be sending stuff there. I still get uh, some of my viewers, my followers, to send me stuff, but it comes to the house. I get something two or three times a week from some of my viewers from my other channels. Rather be some of them, some of them have sent me candy, some of them sent me 
t-shirts some have sent me tools never know what's going to come in them you know show up in the ups or fedex truck but it got to the point where i started getting so much that i just wanted to have a dedicated post office box that i can actually have it all sent to because if i'm not home when the box or package or whatever it may be delivered to my home it's really not safe sitting on your front porch you never know who can be walking by or whatever just like when i walked into walmart and saw that guy have that tv under his arm and then he darted out to the front door with it without paying for it you never know so i'd rather have a post office box so if they want to send something it will be secured sitting inside of the post office until I pick it up. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is just go there every day or at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and go during the um, regular business hours. So if I do have a package or whatever there by indicating by the card or whatever they put in it, I'll be able to pick it up that day instead of have to wait. But, uh, as I said, there's not really much going on today, so I'm going to crank out some videos for both of my channels and uh, try to get ahead of the game a little bit, because on a downtime of work out in the field gives me more time to do in-house work which will be making videos and I'm thinking about putting some audio books together motivation audio books audio CDs and stuff like that this year I'm in the uh, middle of putting my first book together and it's going to be um, paperback possibly hardback and probably going to be digital as well so you can download it or whatever so something I have to look into and see what it would take to get it on that kind of platform so let me get back into the studio and start rolling some video and putting it together and I'll see you later on today well, I'm sitting here and editing uh, the last video for the day, which is the video of my YouTube mobile camera setup, where I show you what cameras I use the resolution that I have them set at, the uh, microphone that I use for vlogging, that I use on my cell phone, um, a little bit of selfie sticks, and I went through my whole case of cameras, my 360, my GoPro, uh, battery pack and stuff which I'm going to get more because I know I'm going to get more busier and I'm not going to have time to be videoing run out of power and not be able to have enough battery packs on hand to be able to keep going without have to stop go charge battery pack and charge the cell phone and all while I'm missing out on the content that I want to record. So this summer I'll probably be buying more equipment because that's when I get the busiest. So I'm gonna get it right before I get real busy. But right now I'm set up quite well, um, not running out of power. Um, I have enough equipment where I can use my cell phone 
have it fully charged, have GoPro fully charged, have my 360 fully charged, battery pack fully charged. I should be good to be able to do a big event, but I always like to have that extra just in case. You never know. So that's about it for the day. Uh, I'll be on my schedule tomorrow, which here it is, 1040. Yeah, here it is me finishing up a vlog, and it's still the same day that I started the vlog. It's not 1, it's not 2, it's not 3.30 in the morning of the next day. So I'll be getting up at 5 o'clock and get the camera rolling. The first thing I'll do when I get up, fill that thing right there up. And other things I got to do is get a better setup, which I need to clean up so I can make a setup. I don't think it'd be too bad if I have a green screen behind me when I'm doing some vlogs, if I have to. Leave your comment in the bottom what you think about having a me doing vlogs like this. Woo! Of me doing vlogs like this with the green screen behind me. Does that really give me good quality video? I'm, it looks like it's good quality video here as I'm doing this. Um, what does it look like on you know your screen? Does it look real good? Um, just let me know and if it is then I'm all set I just need to uh, set this camera up on my desk zoom it in on me and uh, go ahead and do a vlog if I'm in the studio because the lights are one over here and one over here so it's perfect you know on face feature and stuff so maybe it's okay just like it is just leave your comment in the bottom let me know what you think about having this green screen behind me if I do a vlog or any video here in the studio I need uh, I can do you know put different kind of backgrounds you know through the software wirecast that I use to make vlogs here in the studio but does that really matter to ones that are actually watching my videos if green is okay then I, I don't have to worry about putting a picture behind me every time and using wirecast software on my computer to make the vlog I can just make the vlog on the cell phone altogether don't matter if I'm out in the field or I'm sitting in a studio I just prop it up on prop it up on um, the desk here and uh, zoom in be sure there's no white marks over there or white marks over there or anything else it'd be nothing but green behind me uh, just let me know in a comment maybe you have a suggestion to make the uh, background better even when I do use the cell phone so uh, leave your comments in the bottom let me know and like always do something today that would take you and possibly your business or your life or all three up to that next level and hopefully these videos that I'm making is helping you to get that task accomplished this year if there's anything that you want me to talk about let me know in the comment and I'll see if I can put a video together for you and uh, we'll take it from there because these videos are for you I'm not making them for myself because I already know the knowledge and the information that I'm putting out on my vlog I want to put the knowledge that I have and the experience that I have of getting my business from start unto where it is now so I can make videos all day I can make 
500, which I'm going to make 500 or more videos for the year, I can make that many videos. But if it's not something that you're looking for, something you need, it's not going to help you. So let me know what you need help on to get you to that next level. And I see what I can do about making a video. Or we can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation through Skype or, or a Google Hangout. Uh, so we can talk one-on-one, -on -one, so you can ask me questions or whatever. Uh, be sure to look in the uh, description below this video and look at all the links of where else you can find me because I will be broadcasting live like on Periscope, Facebook, Facebook business page, uh, Ustream, uh, Mixler, which is going to be a podcast. Uh, there's another one that's going to be a podcast. All of that is listed in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And be sure you share it with your friends and your family. And if you hadn't already done so, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button down there. And be sure to hit that little bell and check in that little box. And so it will send you a notification when I put up new content here on this channel. So as always, do something today that will move you up to that next level. And if there's anything particular that I can do to help you to get motivated or get you to that next level, leave it in the comment or go to about page and get my email and send me a personal email and let me know and we can get that done. Until next time.